three ways to increase income on your multifamily property. So in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, three reasons why we need to have rising income. And then I'll share with you three very practical things that you can do uh, to your multifamily property to increase cash flow today. Okay. All right. Let's start off with the three reasons why you need rising income. Number one is cash flow is king. We all know that. What does that mean? That means that uh, like in any business, multifamily, single family home, or if you have an office building without cash flow, you're not going to be around very long. However, let me add this, that generating cash flow is a learned skill set, okay? Uh, many people believe that they can just buy a multifamily property and cash flow day one. It's not that easy, folks, all right? It takes a, a, a learned skill set, right? I'm going to go more into that on this video, how you can learn how to do that, okay? All right, number two, um, increasing income allows you to force the appreciation on the property, which forces the property value creating more wealth for you, okay? You've seen from my previous videos, and uh, this is kind of my business model, that we buy a property, we fix it up, we increase the rent, we increase the net operating income, and that makes the property worth more. If you do this really, really well, you are building generational wealth, okay? So this is why increasing income is so important. Okay, number three, increasing income allows you to combat rising operating costs. As we know, uh, insurance costs is going up, utility is going up, property tax is going up all across the country. As these expenses go up, you need to uh, increase your also your income so you can maintain your cash flow, which is key. So you can see all this is connected, okay? All right, now that you have that understanding, what I'm gonna move into next is the first way to increase your multifamily income is to do this. Let's go there next. Okay, here is the first way to increase your rent on your multifamily property. And this method is so simple, but it's so overlooked. I don't know if it's because of lack of knowledge or laziness, I don't know. But let's get started, okay? Number one is lease agreement management. What do I mean by that? Let me keep it simple for you. Let's say you have a five unit property, okay? Five unit apartment building, and you have five different leases, okay? So keep it nice and simple for you. What you want to do is every 12 months, okay, you need to raise your rents. No excuses, okay? I say no excuses because if you keep your, your apartment building in good order, you keep it clean and keep it safe, you're doing your part, okay? Your expenses are going up. Shouldn't your rents go up too, all right? So you're not you're not in, in this business as a charity. It's a for-profit business. So every year, uh, your rents need to go up. That's number one, okay? So no no more excuses, okay? Number two is upon uh, lease renewal time, raise your rents. Here's what I mean by that. You have, let's say you have five tenants, you have five lease agreements, right? They went in at various times. So one person's lease may expire in July, one may expire in January, one may expire in October, right? They have varying uh, times or months when they uh, when they renew or they expire, okay? When they expire, it's time to renew the leases. So what I'm saying here is every time you, you, you have an expiring lease, you need to approach the tenant and say, okay, you've been paying X dollars. Now I have rising insurance and property taxes. Your new rent is this, okay? They either pay it or they leave. Now, of course, you want to uh, have your rent such that it's it's at market level. You don't want to jack it up too high when they move out, right? But you need to, you need to raise it up to the market level if you are underneath the market. Okay. Again, you have rising expenses. You deserve to have rising rents. Okay. Number three, if you are a Section Eight landlord, okay, or you're under some other type of government subsidized rent program, okay, every year, every year you can ask for a rent increase. Okay. And uh, most people forget that, and I don't know why, but there are uh, there is a certain deadline that you must apply for the rent increase. Now, I don't know, I don't remember a time where myself or any other student did not get a rent increase upon the request of it, okay? I don't remember a time, okay? So it is. it may be small, maybe large, but it's, it's there. And as I say here, it's not automatic. You have to ask for it, okay? There's a deadline for it, but 
If you are one of these types of landlords, ask for your rent increase and you'll get it. Okay. Now, if this is you, okay, if any of this is you, I want you to take a look at all of your leases. So if, whether you have a five unit apartment building or you have a 40 unit apartment building, I want you to take out all your leases, take them all out, look, and, look at them all, okay? And ask yourself the question, are any of the leases coming up for renewal? Okay, ask yourself this question, are any of the leases expired? Okay, or uh, have, or maybe you have uh, some tenants with no leases, okay? All three of these are rent increase opportunities, okay? So like I said, this is not rocket science, okay? And uh, so you can do this, this is very practical, and you need to do this because you have rising costs, you're, you're trying to pay for uh, your, your retirement or build your retirement, you have kids' college tuition or what have, what have you. Uh, if you do your part, keep your apartments nice and clean and livable, uh, you're doing your part. You need to create. You need to increase your rents. All right. Okay. Let's go to uh, method or way number two to get your rents increased. Let's do that next. All right. Here is a second way to increase income on your multifamily property. And by the way, if you have a question for me at any time uh, on this material, anything else, go ahead and uh, text me. Text Peter to eight three three nine four two forty five sixteen. It appear right on the screen here and ask away any question you want. All right, okay. All right, here's a second method. Oh, before I go that, can, can't you see that these methods are, are they're not uh, rocket science. You can implement these right away, okay? Here's, a, here's, method, here's method number two, it's called RUBS, okay? And for short, RUBS means Ratio Utility Building System. So in a nutshell, what that means is you're taking your utilities and you're charging it back to your tenants, okay? So you're receiving it as additional income, okay? Now, here's how it works. Let me do a quick, well, here's a quick explanation. It allows you to recapture utility costs without installing utility meters, okay? And I'm talking water, trash, gas, electrical, cable, all that you can recapture. Here's a quick example. Let's say you have a 12 unit apartment building and your monthly cost for water is $500 a month. And usually an apartment building will have uh, one meter, right? One, one water meter that the water company comes out and read and they send a landlord, send you a bill, let's say $500 a month. What you can do now is you can divide that bill, $500 a month, equally amongst the 12 unit. That's why it's called ratio, okay? And you can, so if you take, if you divide the $500 into 12 tenants, you're going to bill each tenant $41 a month. Okay. So that's not too much to handle, right? An additional $41 for their water uses, as an example. Look at the results. The results are fantastic. Okay. So first of all, instead of you paying the $500 a month, uh, you're going to collect income now of that a month. So you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to increase your your NOI, your income by $6,000 a year, right? What that's gonna to do to your value, if you take your savings or your, your increased income of $6,000 and divide it by the market cap rate, that is the way to see uh, how much you can increase your property value by. Remember, as you increase your NOI, right, your property value goes up. Look at this formula. So if I take my $6,000 per year that I'm saving, and I divide it by a six cap, I've increased my property value by $100,000, okay? Incredible, right? And all you did was send a piece of paper and notice, a 30-day notice saying that next month you are being billed $41 a month for your water. Look at the results. And next year, $6,000 to your bottom line and property value has gone up $100,000. Incredible, right? Okay, now, um, here are the uh, advantages of, of doing rubs, like this example, okay? The first, the first advantage is um, it's been proven, right, uh, that tenants use less of their utilities if they pay for it, okay? It's been proven, 5 to 50%. So you're going to be able to reduce your usage, and this will become a profit center for you, okay? Number two is tenants are now incentivized to report leaky faucets and leaky toilets to you so they'll report these maintenance items to you so you can get them fixed remember 
one leaky toilet, one leaky faucet can cost you $100 per month, okay? $100 per month, incredible, okay? Just one leaky faucet in your one unit in one bathroom, okay? What if you have multiple leaks? We're talking thousands of dollars, okay, that could be potentially lost down the drain, okay? All right, so that's it. So racial utility building system rubs, you can implement this today, all right? Okay, great. Now let's go to uh, the third method. All right, here is the third way to increase uh, your income on your multifamily property. And again, this is not rocket science. This is stuff that we're already doing, okay? All right, the third way is to do selective upgrades to the interior of your units. Here's what I mean by that, okay, the selective. So what we're doing is we're not ripping out the kitchen, we're not ripping out the bathroom, we're not replacing the flooring, we're not doing anything big like that, okay? So what we're doing is not expensive and it's not elaborate, okay? But if you can get $50 to $75 to $100 increases over your entire units and multiply that by 12, look what it does to your cash flow and your property value, okay? Right, again, so it does not have to be expensive or elaborate, okay? Now, you can offer um, a lighting package, okay? And increase your rents $50 to $75 a month. Okay, per unit, a lighting package is, for example, over your kitchen island, you can drop in really nice uh, pendants, lighting. Okay, you can put lighting in, the, you can put mood lighting in the corner. Say, so, so lighting can transform an entire room, okay, and bedrooms, okay, with simple lighting that you can get anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, very simple, and charge the money for it. Okay, so when they walk in, the lighting uh, overtakes your emotions and they go, wow, and look around, okay? All right, and you can get additional money for that. All right, next is you can offer a new appliance package. So when they move in, you can, you can go ahead and, and offer a new appliance pack, new uh, refrigerator, uh, stove, okay? For example, those can be uh, brand new and you can charge them for that. Uh, if you charge them for that, Probably in, in a year, a year and a half, this paid for. But what you're doing is you're increasing your income, okay? So they probably have to be replaced anyway, okay? Number, number three is to install washer-dryer hookups, okay? So what that is, is um, let's say you have a, a broom closet or you have an extra closet or space in the, in the bedroom. What you can do is you can plumb, wash, you can plumb electrical wire into that little space there and leave the connections for the wash and dryer in that space where the tenants will bring in their own washer and dryer, okay? The benefit to that is they don't have to go to a washer and dryer facility or go to the laundromat or do laundry in, the, in, the, in your apartment's uh, laundry area. They can do it right in their home and they are willing to pay big bucks for that, okay? So depending where you are, you can get an extra 75, 100, $125 per month more by doing that. Now, this is going to cost you more. It's going to cost you uh, a few thousand dollars to do all the work, all the plumbing and the sheetrock and all that. But look at what you're getting extra per month. Over time, this will pay for itself and add up. Makes your property cash flow better and worth more. Okay, so there you go. Selective upgrades, okay, does not have, again, does not have to be elaborate or expensive. When you do this on a number of units, uh, it can add up big time. All right, so there you go. All right, so again, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and text Peter to 833-942-4516. The number will appear on the screen. Love to hear from you. All right, everyone, thank you for, for watching. Okay, three ways to increase uh, your income on your multifamily property. Let's put it all to work and make more money together. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you want to see what our students are doing, uh, uh, on their properties, they're doing all this. You can go ahead and apply to our mentoring program. The link will be there. Or just go ahead. Um, there's a, a, a link from my, my book that you can just click on it and read and go out and get educated. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you at the next video.